Hi, this is Dema Reddy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to define a user-defined functions in Dell Moment Atomsphere and how we can use those user-defined functions in MapShape. So what is the use of the user-defined functions? A Dell Moment Atomsphere has provided some of the predefined functions in MapShape. Click on map. You can see in the map shape, we have defined uh, some of the inbuilt functions has been uh, provided. But there are uh, cases the in this user defined functions, you can just pass the input argument and then you can map the output of the function arguments to the destination profile. But there are the cases you may need to nested all these functions to achieve your results. In that case, you have to define your own user defined functions and use all of these uh, inbuilt functions along with if required you can also use the custom scripting which requires the Groovy or JavaScript. So we'll see how we can use uh, this here. Let's close this. Okay, so let's uh, go to the process. So in the last video, I have showed you how to define this process that builds the sample uh, generating the CSV file. So if you want to see the video, you can just go to a YouTube channel. You can just type Dell Boomi data process demo. So you can just see this video if you want to build from scratch and how to build this process, how to write the custom script and how to generate the file in CSV and then how we can uh, uh, test this process. So I'm taking this uh, is a process as a base and in this process I am going to define a map function map that map function will calculate the price in this if you see the sample video sample csv file here it you can see that it has the customer id customer name quantity and price so what i wanted to do i want to multiply the quantity and price i wanted to multiply the quantity and price and then do the same for all the records and sum the multiplication of the price and quantity. So in total, I want to calculate the total, all the customers price, all the customers items price. So let's see how we can do this. Let's drag and drop the map shape. Click on plus. Click on choose. So let's create a sample CSV file using this uh, file as the metadata. Take this. Go for plot file. Create new profile. Name it as. And then go for options. We just specify my file has the color headers then specify the file type as a delimited and delimited would be comma and then go for data elements select the record and then import click on tools then click on next you can see that all these are there and click on finish now click on save and close do the same thing for next reuse the same file here plot file okay let's define a user defined function here so 
so for in order to calculate uh, the total price i need the two inputs from the source profile data what are those two inputs i want the price this is unit price and then i want the quantity after that what i need to do first i need to multiply the quantity go for numeric go for multiply what i want to multiply i want to multiply price and quantity and then i want to store it here then I want to set dynamic process property total price then let's have this as the total price value okay. now when data source profile has a one record this will perform the calculation and then this will store it but when it is trying to for second iteration, when it's trying to uh, reading uh, the second uh, records of the source file, plot file profile, it again this calculation has to perform. And then I need to add in the first records total price into second records total price after multiplication and so on. So that I need to calculate total. So in order to calculate a total, what I need to do, I need to define a get price here then define one more process property called get property this initial value would be zero because when when it is trying to execute for the first record the total price would be zero price would be here and then what I need to do after calculating total price I need to add this to uh, current price current record of the plot file go for add see when it is point uh, uh, the first record is coming then it will take the price and quantity then it will calculate the, uh, the it will apply the multiplication and then the result will be coming and then it is storing but when it is coming for the second iteration onwards i need to store this result previous results and then do the multiplication for the current record and then add the this multiplication result to the previous record that previous record i am going to use as a total price for storing it so in the initial value it would be zero and then after adding i am going to multiply the previous value to the current result so that i'll be getting total and this total i am going to map it to here this is the one i am going to do so now let's save this one expand this go for price And then quantity and again you have to map this source profile to destination profile otherwise data would not be passed and the next shapes after the map will not be able to utilize this data so that i have to map it so what exactly this will do when it is coming to the first record it's the apply the which and every record the the map will be executing the function would be executed let's see the how this results will be let's disconnect this shut the letting the file and then just from the notify to see the results of the value of the total price so 
so to identify to control number of records to be generated by the data process custom state i have defined one parameter here and passing the value to here let's make this as a five records here to make to make it more simple okay. then click on test and on test okay you can see that would be same five records this is a quantity price like this okay the first one you can see the zero is the quantity and price would be 1.0 so let's see the how the let's see the total price here this is the 930 Let's see whether the function was executing as expected or not. Okay, the first for total price is a function. How many inputs are there? Two inputs. One is the price, and then quantity. You can see these are two inputs. And after that, we are trying to get the dynamic process property, which is Is for adding the previous value iteration. So you can see that the first iterations I have defined a default value as a zero. That's why it is as giving it. After that, I am multiplying both these inputs. One point zero into zero, then result would be zero point zero. And then after that, this result I am going to add it to the previous results zero. So total I will be math add will be getting this one here. This is the first result. And we are going for second record. Now this time I'm getting two inputs will be 11.0 and three, and dynamic process property would be zero. This is the last iteration, and you can see the multiply output 11.0 into three is 33, and then adding the zero to the zero is the previous iteration, and then there would be no change in the 33. And then after that we are setting that for property each and every iteration we are setting the latest value, and then next time you can see the 21 into six, and then And this time we are with the last iteration value was 33. We can see the last iteration value, and then after multiply the current one, it will be 126. After the 126, addition of 126 plus 33, it would be 159. So you can see like this, it will keep on adding, and after a multiplication or addition is performed, we are storing it here. So in this pro, so this is, you can see that function was executing as expected, and it is generating the. So calculating the total price. So let's try to oh, stop this process and increment this value would be for five thousand. Let's see how it will be. Price will be generating it. Here you can see that the file length would be file size would be 136. You can see there many records are generated. Now let's go here and see the value. You can see that this is 